Redlock also supports the downloading of reports on the details of the compliance standards configured for your environment. We can navigate to the Compliance Standards tab and then download a summary report that includes all the compliance standards that are listed. By default, the out-of-the-box compliance standards along with any custom compliance standards will be in the report. The report is in .csv format and can be exported to an Excel spreadsheet. If I'm interested in only the details for any of the individual compliance standards, I can select that standard. And then I can download a report just based on that individual standard. This could be useful if I have custom compliance standards. And I just want to look at the information for that custom compliance standard. If I want to create a new custom compliance standard, I start that procedure by clicking on plus add new. I then can give the new standard a name. I'll just go ahead and cut and paste to expedite the process here. And then save that by clicking on the check mark. I then can drill down into that standard and add requirements. by clicking Add New. And save that. And I can drill down in the requirements. And I could add sections as well. And I can continue to go through this procedure until I build out my new compliance standard. So now I've created a new compliance standard, but there are no policies assigned to it. In order to assign policies, I need to navigate to the Secure tab. I want to locate a policy by using the filter option. So I'll filter on multi-factor authentication. Uh, this is the policy that I'm interested in right here. I'll go ahead and select that, which puts me into a wizard workflow. I can make modifications if I need to, but I don't want to dabble with the policy itself. I just want to incorporate it into our new compliance standard. So I'll hit Next. And I'll hit Next until I get to the compliance standard step in the process. I'll click on Plus. That gives me the option to add another compliance standard to this policy. I'm going to select my custom compliance standard, configure the requirement and the section, and confirm that. If I now go back to the compliance tab, you can see that I've added my first policy to this new standard. And I can continue and build out all the desired policies that I want to associate with this new standard. Now that I've created my new custom compliance standard, I can go ahead and click on reports and define a new custom report. I can do that by clicking on plus add new. This is going to be for AWS. Report type is going to be my custom compliance standard that I just defined. And I can go ahead and give that a name. Just copy and paste that, it's a little faster. I can select specific account groups and cloud accounts. And then I can select my region. I'll go with all time and then click on save. I've now defined a new compliance report that I can then subsequently download.